So last night I drove all the way here to Phoenix, Arizona, about six hours, arrived here about midnight to do something that's gonna be amazing here on the Jeep. I can't wait to show you the surprise. Oh, wait a minute. You guys just saw the thumbnail and the title description. You know what we're doing. We're getting ready to wrap the Jeep, guys. This is gonna be awesome. But first, I need some coffee. Welcome to Trail Recon, I'm Brad, and today I'm here in Phoenix, Arizona at Elevate Design Group, where we are going to get the Jeep completely transformed and do a vinyl wrap. Now, doing a vinyl wrap is something that I've honestly been wanting to do for a long time, but to be honest, I just had no idea to even where to begin, you know, how to work with a graphic artist, choosing a company, all that, and so I really just never pulled the trigger. Well, a couple months ago, I was at the Desert Rendezvous and I was checking out this guy Mark's Jeep who's got it completely wrapped and I was asking him a ton of questions and I said, yeah, I'd love to do that sometime. And he said, you know what? I own a company in Phoenix, Arizona that does this. Let's work on something. And so he took the design idea that's in my head and sent it to me and I was like, oh my gosh, he knows exactly what I want. So that's why I made the drive all the way from San Diego out here to Phoenix and I am super excited. I think you guys are really gonna enjoy this. So today in this video, I'm gonna show you what's involved in doing a vinyl wrap. We'll talk about vinyl wrap and the costs. And at the end, obviously, I'm gonna show you what I think is gonna be such a cool design, the finished product. So uh, for right now, we gotta start pulling things apart. The guys behind me have already started stripping things down uh, and then we can get started, guys. This is gonna be pretty cool. I hope you enjoy this. The guys at Elevate first began by taking off many of the exterior accents like the hood latches, mirror, windshield wipers, the light bar, tail lights, weather stripping, and my license plate holder, which is a bit of a pain, by the way. I also needed to remove my trail badges, so I need to find a new home for those. I'm not sure where I'm gonna put those yet. They also removed the fenders and the door handles. If you've ever tried to remove the door handles on a Jeep, it's a little tricky because that interior plastic panel that has the window motor on it and a bunch of other accessories is in the way. There's no access hole to get to the bolt that holds the door handle on. So what they found is just drilling a hole in that plastic right through gives you good access. That's a good little tip to know about in the future if you ever need to remove your door handles. The guys also told me that some vinyl shops won't spend the time to remove all the parts like this, but instead they will just cut the vinyl around each of the components and it really doesn't look that professional and the vinyl ends up not holding up as long. It's a good question to inquire about if you're gonna be talking to a wrap shop just to find out how detailed they are in their work. Man, my Jeep just looks so naked. No light bar, no grill, no fenders. These guys have been making quick work of tearing it down. We're only two hours in and they've got the Jeep completely stripped down. Uh, they're now cleaning it with alcohol to get prepped for the vinyl going on. Just a couple things to keep in mind uh, if you're gonna be doing something like this. I needed to wash my Jeep yesterday and so that meant midnight when I got here, I had to go find a car wash and wash it because you don't wanna wash it right before because then you'll get water that actually leaked down behind the vinyl. So we wanted to make sure that we washed it, it was completely dry. And you don't wanna use anything that's oil-based, no Armorals, that kind of stuff just basic soap and water and then they're gonna clean it down with alcohol now we're gonna be putting the vinyl on here shortly and I'll talk a little bit about vinyl and some of the different things and the cost so I had worked with the graphic artist mark on the design of the wrap and I was really surprised at just how easy the process was because in my experience graphic artists can be kind of hit or miss sometimes but mark does great work and somehow transferred the idea of what was in my head onto the vinyl now they print their vinyl graphics there in the shop and run it through another machine after it's printed that puts a UV laminate on it. Only quality work done here in this shop. Once all the vinyl is printed, it's cut out by hand and rolled up and ready for install. There were over 17 total vinyl panels that would be going on my Jeep today. All right, guys, I'm talking with Jody, who has over 18 years of experience dealing with vinyls. He's got a lot of knowledge, but just real quick, I was given two options on what to choose from. There's one which is a flat color, and there's one that's a metallic color, and I chose the metallic, but can you tell these guys 
Tell us about the different types of vinyl and what we're using today. Yeah, so what we did is we went on ahead and printed two different color samples. Um, one is on our 3M, what we call our 180. It's a base film, which is white. And then we also did a 3M uh, 180MC-120, which is a metallic base. As you can tell, each film kind of gives a different enhancement to the look of the print. And that's kind of what we did is gave him a choice of uh, which film to go with to uh, see what he likes best. Yeah, and I think this works perfectly with the color of my Jeep and I just love it. It just pops more. Of course, I chose the one that's more expensive because this stuff's a little cheaper. Uh, now, if folks wanted to do this, I know there's two different options. You can just you know, change the color of your Jeep. So if I just wanted to make it all red or if I wanted to do something like this, what can folks expect to pay for something like this? Yeah, absolutely. As, as pricing changes all across the world, um, basically in our region, you know, like a color change is a little bit more in depth, takes takes a lot longer to do. Um, so, you know, ballpark for a Jeep is, is around $3,700. Okay. Um, for a design print, you're somewhere in between 2,800 to 3,000 3, yeah. uh, for the full design print and installation. Yeah, I thought that was very inf informational because I would expect the, the graphic print to be more expensive, but you were telling me that it's actually harder to do a complete color change. It is because with the color change, we actually have to go in and hide the entire body color of the vehicle that we're right. wrapping. So therefore it takes a lot longer to actually get in really deep yeah. and go into different areas. And there's also times where we use more material because we want to make sure that we can get in deep into those recesses to cover the original body color. Awesome. Well, I think that's very cool. I think if you guys want to do a color change, change or a graphic design like this, you know, compared to repainting your vehicle, this is a great option, guys. Now the moment we've all been waiting for, the vinyl was finally ready to be applied to the Jeep. And honestly, these guys made it look so easy. Just laying the vinyl on carefully, getting all the air bubbles out, a little pulling and tugging and repealing and smoothing out all the contours is all it took. I was completely fascinated watching them work with the vinyl because once upon a time I had put some small pieces of vinyl to cover up some wood grain on an interior car that I owned and I remember getting really frustrated with it because it just was so difficult to work with. At least I didn't know what I was doing, but honestly I was amazed at how easy these guys made it look. It's nice to have a professional do a job like this. One of the key methods I noticed the guys were using on the large pieces was to use the magnets to hold up the vinyl in place and then peel it in halves instead of doing it all at once and then working from the middle. This made working with the vinyl much easier. And with the topography design running over so many different panels and angles of the Jeep, it's near impossible to get all the map elevation contour lines to match up perfectly. So the focus was to ensure that all the ones on the side of the Jeep lined up since this is really the most noticeable view on the Jeep. And then do the best possible to match the hood, the grill, and the pillars. The guys did an excellent job. You really have to look close to see the difference. If you are standing a few feet away, it's even really hard to tell. One pro tip that the installer shared with me was when you need to make a small, precise cut of the vinyl, but you don't want to damage the paint underneath, to use what's called knifeless tape. This is a tape with a strip of filament inside and then you just rip it up to get a very precise cut. I think this has a lot of different applications, a very cool product. Now some of you may have questions about the roof and in this shop's experience when doing a graphic design like this, just folding the wrap over the first few inches of the roof works really well. You know, my Jeep sits up so high already that no one even sees the top of the roof. So not having the wrap up there is not a big deal. Plus it would have added a lot more work and required quite a bit more material. I really couldn't believe just how quickly this was all starting to come together. I mean, if I wanted to repaint my Jeep, it would have been in the shop for at least a week if not longer. We were already three quarters of the way done after a single eight hour workday. Well, it's the morning of day two and we're getting ready to get started to do a lot of the finishing details still left to do, just some of the individual strips. And the designer came up with a really cool little kind of trick way to do the fenders, which I'm really excited to see how that turns out. So we'll be showing you that here in a bit. And then at the end, I'm gonna take you around and just kind of discuss why I chose some of these graphics, some of the little hidden gems. I think it's really cool, but I'm really excited how this is turning out and I cannot wait to see the finished product. 
I've got to be honest, the anticipation at this point was bursting inside me. Watching it all finally come together after months of talking about it was so amazing. The guys made quick work of the last remaining details, like the grill, the blacking out of the tailgate, a few of the front and rear trim pieces, the cowl and the pillars, it was all coming together. When we first discussed the design, we were going to leave the fenders silver because trying to wrap the fenders with all the contours would have been near impossible. But Mark came up with a great last minute idea and I'm so glad we decided to do it this way. The rear fenders will be black on top to match the rear quarter panel with the bar section staying silver, which is a nice little detail. And then the fronts are gonna have the topo to match the front of the Jeep. This is such a great custom look. I'm really happy with how it came out. The last little detail on the Jeep was not even a plan. I was just sitting around telling Mark about how I built my rear storage system and I just mentioned that I just didn't like the contrast of the black fridge with the bamboo drawer faces. Well, after a quick picture, some Photoshop magic, he printed out a small section of vinyl to match the bamboo design. It's really stuff like this that separates a good shop from a great shop. These guys are total pros and I love how this came out. Well, after a full day and a half, they are finally done. And man, pulling it out here in the sun just makes it pop. I cannot believe how great this turned out. The guys here at Elevate Design Group did such an awesome job, but I wanna give a big shout out to the two installers who just worked on all the little details, Manny and Sean. Man, you guys did an amazing job. Now, before we wrap this up, guys, I wanna talk a little bit about the design specifics here because this to me kind of really personalizes the Jeep. So the topo on the front is from the Mojave Preserve area. And, you know, I asked the designer, the graphic artist, I'm like, man, I would just love to have a map of the trail over the hood. And he took it to a whole new level. I thought it would just be a drawing of the map. And he put the whole Mojave National Preserve on the hood. And I think it is so cool with the TR logo in there. Just turned out awesome. But the thing that is really special for me is I wanted it to kind of represent where I've been and where I'm going out on the trails. And so on the door here, you'll see it's a Joshua tree. And that is probably one of my favorite places to be out in the Mojave National Forest in the Joshua tree area. I just love that place. It is so beautiful. But you know, we go all the way up to the mountains where there's the pine trees. And so the way the graphics flow up there through the Trail Recon logo, I love it, man. I mean, there's just so much to look at here and it just has transformed the Jeep. So look, if you're thinking about wrapping your Jeep and you're in the Arizona area, you definitely want to look these guys up. But I think wrapping your Jeep just gives it such a cool look and there's so many different options. Look, if you're visiting Trail Recon for the first time, hit that subscribe button. I'd love to have you as a member of the Trail Recon team. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.